Welcome to the Google Word Education. In this session, we'll be knowing a simple traffic light controller circuit on the Jingle CAD. So we'll be learning about the coding on the Jingle CAD platform. So let's create a new circuit in the Jingle CAD tool. So the basic components required for this traffic light designer is mainly the LED. So we require the three LEDs of different colors. And I'll be selecting the Arduino board because we are designing with the help of the Arduino board. So let me take an Arduino board. And I'll be changing the color of the traffic lights. Yes. And we need three resistors. It has to limit the flow of current. It should not exceed them. Yes, we'll be connecting now as the red terminal of the positive. It is given to 13 pin number of the Arduino board. And which is the second LED will be given to the 12 of the pin number of the Arduino board. And then green of LED. Uh, is connected to the pin number 11. So these all have been connected to the ground, which is at here. The common path. As these are all the ground. will be in the black color. And these are the signals which is being connected to the pin number 13, 12 and 11. As per the colors, it has been connected. So let's start coding here. So just start, let's start from the beginning. Yeah, let me increase this. Yes, so first here we are designing with the help of the block. So I have selected as the blocks for the text. We can also select the test text. So let, let me design with the help of the blocks. So here you can see there is a there are some uh, naming convention. There is output, input, notation, control, match variable. So first what we have to do is we have to set the we have to read the signal line. So I'll be taking as the set pin number zero to high. The first thing is that we have to no, no, notice the pin numbers. So let me take as a green, uh, red. So the pin number is 13. Let me select from the drop down as a 13. And it must be high for the first condition. And what I do, the remaining LED, it has to be in the off condition, means it has to be in the low condition. So I'll be taking out two more sets and I'll be just changing a pin number and I'll be making as a low. And the third is the pin number. You can observe it is at pin number 11. So this is pin number 11. It will be in the low condition. So, the, so this is about that our first condition is that this LED, the red LED has to be high, means it has to be on. Other two LEDs, it, sh it should be in the low condition, should be in the half condition, which has uh, pin number 11 and the 12. As in the ordinal board, you can observe this is 11 and the 12, it will be in the off. Then in the control, you can see the wait, means it has to wait for per some particular seconds. As we see in the traffic light signals, it will be waiting for one minute or for or more than one minute is one, one seconds like that. 
So here I'll be selecting just uh, for five, five seconds. So it has to wait for five seconds. It should be in the red signal. And then after five seconds, it has to move to the green. Then I'll be going to output, selecting the same control, controlman. Here just I'll be changing the pin numbers. So as in 30. So here it has to be on. I mean the yellow, yellow one. Yellow one has to be on. 12 it should be in the high condition whereas the other it has to be in the off condition other is the pin number 13 it should be in the off condition again it has to wait for some time for five seconds and then again same principle it works on the same principle whereas you have to select the pin numbers over here and the last is pin number 11 it has to be on and other pin numbers it has to be in the off condition not in the on it has been off pin number 12 low and then it this is a main thing over here again it has to wait because it doesn't work because it has to repeat for an entire thing it has to get a loop yes so now the coding is done so let's start let's run the program and we'll see so all we need is to start the simulation to run this traffic light controller yeah so exactly at the five seconds you can observe here in the simulation part other led is getting glow and next it is getting green Again, after five seconds, again, it will be going on continuous, continuous process. Yeah, that's how it works. And you can convert this also in the core, in the text format. And then to stop this, the stop simulation. In the core, in the text, if you just click on the text part, you can edit in the text also just all if you want to change the timing you have to ch change here you have you can make as a three seconds so now i'll be starting the program so it will start for three seconds yeah but it takes five because you can see there is a five five delays other is only this part you can see it will be switching on for the three seconds remaining is will be in for the five seconds yeah that's how it works